In this video, I'm gonna begin summarizing the quest lore for Boring Tundra. And we'll be covering this area from the perspective of the Alliance. So if you skipped reading the quest lore while you were leveling your character in Wrath of the Lich King and now you wanna know what happened, then let's jump in and find out what's going on in World of Warcraft. When you start off, you're told through a quest that the Lich King is stirring in the north and that you need to head to Northrend to stop the blight that is spreading. So you make your way to the harbor and take the boat to Boring Tundra located in Northrend. Once you get there, you leave the dock and cut in line to speak with Officer Blythe. And he says that because of everything you did in Outland, remember, this is the expansion that happened after the Burning Crusade. So all of these guys know you for what you did over there. Anyways, he says normally for recruitment, you would have had to stand in line. But you're something of a different caliber than these guys that are standing here. So he wants you to speak with General Arlos inside of Valiant's Keep. From here, you make your way inside and speak with the General. He says that they've been expecting you for a while and that they need heroes to lead the men here. So if you want to be that hero, then General Arlos Carlos wants you to fight alongside his men against the Scourge that are bombarding against the keep. To start, he wants you to report to Sergeant Hammerhill. From here, you make your way downstairs and run up to the sergeant. He says that the soldiers here are doing a great job, but the idea of having someone like you fighting by their side would really turn the tides. So the sergeant asks if you could go outside and kill six crypt crawlers in the sands of Nazem. From here, you leave the keep and run up to Medic Hawthorne. He says that this soldier here will die from the crypt fiend's venom unless we act quickly. And he was promised a new shipment of anti-venom from the Stormbreaker's recent trip from the south. So he wants you to head over there and retrieve the anti-venom from a crate of first aid supplies. From here, you head out into the field, kill six of the crypt fiends. Then you run back into the keep and onto the Stormbreaker. Once downstairs, you're surprised because you see a bunch of people called the clandestine cultists guarding the anti-venom. Once they're taken out, you grab the anti-venom and also check the cultist shrine next to the first aid box. And this thing has all the markings of the cult of the damned. So it appears that the fanatics from the mainland have arrived here on Northern. You might want to notify the captain of the ship about this. Now you head topside and speak with Captain Lefty Lugsail, which he's very surprised that the cultists were found below deck and says that Admiral Cantlebury should take care of this. So you speak with the Admiral, who's standing right next to you. And she says that we need to let General Arlos know about the cultists at once. Because who knows how many of the cultists have smuggled into settlements here on Northrend from other ships. Which, this whole thing could be pretty disastrous. Now you leave the ship and run back into the keep, speaking with General Arlos. And he says that they were made aware of the situation not too long ago, telling you that Counselor Talbot assures him that this was an isolated incident and that the military doesn't need to be involved. So basically the civilian authorities will prosecute everyone that needs to be prosecuted. Kind of odd when he's saying that because he's making it sound like it's not a big deal. We'll keep an eye on him. Now you speak with Counselor Talbot and he says that the Tuscar who are native to Northrend came here looking for help, which we couldn't supply at the time. But now since you're here, Talbot wants you to head to the Riplash Strand southwest of here and see what you can do to help out the Tuscar people. Now you run up to Harbinger Verin and he says that he overheard the general and he's not convinced with what he said about everything being just fine and dandy. So he says maybe it's time to do some investigation on our own terms. And he says that a group of cultists have been spotted helping the Scourge outside of the keep to the north of here. So he wants you to see if they're carrying any clues of what's going on. Now you leave the keep again and report back to Sergeant Hammerhill. He's happy about your progress with killing the creepers outside of the keep. But now he mentions that some of the creepers can fly and that they've been getting past the front lines that way, which is really hurting the inner defenses. So they've been able to gather some fishing nets from the ships. And he wants you to throw them onto the flying bugs, bringing them down to the ground so that you can kill them. Specifically, he wants six Scourge flame spitters dead. Now you leave the keep and return to Medic Hawthorne, who asks for the anti-venom that you recovered from the Stormbreaker, saying that this soldier will live, but his recovery will be very, very slow. Plus, you tell him about the cultists and he's pretty surprised and says that maybe you should report it to someone which you already did. And then also maybe you should bring some evidence with you to kind of prove your theory. Hey everybody, Quail in here. If you're really enjoying the content, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you really, really like it, make sure to hit the like button because it does help the channel spark the YouTube algorithm so that other people can see it. Apart from these episodes, I do stream my gaming and my lore gathering experience every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday here on YouTube. And apart from gaming, I also like to do a lot of fitness stuff. So I do stream my workouts every single morning 
So I'd love to have you come hang out with me when I do that too. If you'd like to support the channel and become a member of the Order of Lore Masters, then go ahead and check out the membership link down below. There's a lot of cool perks like getting early access to the videos every single week and you get your own grimoire and as long as you stay in the membership it does upgrade in color. I'm looking to push out more perks for the members but anyways just wanted to let you guys know what was up let's get back to the episode. From here you head back into the field. Throw your net to bring down the flame spitters and kill them once they hit the ground. Then you head north and meet up with the cultist necrolites and kill them until the cultist communicate drops. Then you head back to Valiant's Keep and speak with Sergeant Hammerhill. And he says that no matter how the Scourge attack us, we'll give them a beating. Now, he says that the Scourge are showing no signs of letting up, and that there are sinkholes to the north that giant undead worms have made. For all that the Sergeant knows, these could be connected straight to Ice Crown. But there's one thing that Hammerhill knows about mining tunnels. If there's no support beams, then they can collapse very easily. So he wants you to take some explosives and cave in three sinkholes to the north. Once again, you head back into the field. Put the explosives on the sinkholes, blowing them up. Then you return to Hammerhill. And he says that without your help, Valiant's Keep may not have been able to withstand the attackers. Now, Sergeant Hammerhill tells you about Farshire, saying that Valiant's Keep was built to take a beating far greater than the one that's going on right now. But the farmlands in Farshire? Not so much. The Alliance sent a full detachment to protect the mining operations right before the invasion happened, and Gerald Green is the one in charge over there. So Sergeant Hammerhill wants you to head out there and see what you can do to help. Now you run back into the keep and speak with Harbinger Verin, and hand him the clues you found on the cultist's body, which he says to be discreet because we can't look at this evidence with the general standing right there. So Verin says that he's going to delegate his investigation to one of his operatives named Yala, and she can be found located in the inn. So you need to head there and tell her that you were sent by him. Speaking to no one else about this because we don't know who's working for the cult. So now you leave the keep and enter the inn on the other side, running upstairs to speak with Yala. And she tells you to speak quickly about the information you have on the cult. After looking over the evidence that you found, she tells you that she's made it her business to learn as much as possible about the vile death cult even their secret language. So you find out that they're in various locations within Valiant's Keep, and they're disguised. Specifically, you need to search for them in the lower docks, the jail inside the inner hold, and the inn's kitchen. Yala also hands you an oculus and says to use it when you're in those areas. And any cultist operative that has used any form of necromancy recently will be enshrouded by a dark aura. Once you find them, take them out. Now you first head into the inn's kitchen and use the oculus to find salty John Thorpe and the dark aura around him. After confronting him and accusing him of being part of the cultists, he admits that he is and says that he won't go down without a fight. So you kill him. Now you head to the lower docks and the same thing happens with Tom Heger ending in his death. Lastly, you head to the jail within the inner keep and find that Guard Mitchells is the cultist sympathizer. So you take him out as well. Once that's all done, you return to Yala and she says that you've done a great job cleaning them out. But she feels that this isn't the last they've seen of the death cultists. With this quest turned in, you complete the first chapter within the Boring Tundra storyline. This area has about four chapters less than what Howling Fjord did, which we just completed. So it may not take as much time to cover this content, but so far I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. The whole subplot of the cultists sneaking into Northern puts a really good twist on the story. It doesn't just say that we've got problems in Northern and we gotta go handle it. It also says that we've got internal problems, so there's, there's multiple conflicts going on. Really looking forward to seeing what happens in the next chapter. But before we get going, I do wanna give a big shout out to the Order of Lore Masters and their contribution through the membership program. You guys really, really do help with the costs and there are costs that go into making these videos and I can't thank you enough. If you'd like to help support the channel, then go ahead and check out the membership link down below. And with that, I'll see you next week when we find out what's going on in the Tales of Azeroth.